Hey guys, F -f Fire here, bringing you another Let's Play video. This time we're just checking out a he Heavy Duty Challenge, the Off-Road Truck Simulator. The game's currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at $35. So let's ch check out this simulation truck driving off-road game. Alright, let's go new co career. As always, if you do, do enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you consider hitting that th the thumbs up button. If you're new here, maybe subscribe to the ch channel. And uh, yeah, let's just see, see how we like this game. Okay, so gear up. Oh, so X and A are your gear shifts and then gas pedal. Got it. Oh, already starting off the wrong gear. How do I change my view? Okay. I guess we're staying in this uh, initial camera. Um, oh wait, no, we can uh, we can lean in and out of our car. That's really loud on the outside. I think we're gonna not do that. So let's see how we do driving here. Oh, I gotta remember to keep gearing up. Gas pedal, tuning, handbrake off. Okay, we got our handbrake on. We want to take that off. Check the rules in the pause screen. Okay. So my understanding is is we're just trying to go from what one point to the other to um, complete the obstacle course. So, all right, it looks like we've passed enough gates. So two more gates to go. And I'm pretty sure I'm horrible at shifting. I never do manual shifting, so this is uh, definitely a challenge, but we did, I guess, the t t tutorial. Um, I don't know if we got an L for sucking, or if that's just the image that just shows up on these co coffee mugs. Okay, inter interesting. Um, so, I don't know if there's a w way to have it to do manual shifting, so if it's only automatic sh shifting, that's definitely going to be a th thing to kind of learn and get used to in this game. Let's s s s see how we do on this next course. How to drive into difficult terrain. Um, switch between driving modes, all-wheel drive. Oh, okay, so... I feel like we're going to want to be in all-wheel drive the entire time. Oh, and then we can push that if we're stuck. Maybe I don't want to be in all-wheel drive. Oh dear. Some of these are like, kind of hard. So I guess, I guess if we start to get stuck, we'll switch to all-wheel drive. Yep, we gotta get through these g g gates. I definitely think I'm destroying my powertrain. Oh, I think I'm geared way too high. Yeah, I think we're going to want to be uh, all axles for this one. Okay, we can look down and see how we're doing. We cross this little, like, wood structure. Oh. We're de I'm definitely destroying the powertrain. That's for sure. Wait. Okay, so we did it. Uh, <laughs> we only passed 4 or 7, and... The Im infamous L is b b back again, so... Ugh. Okay, next one's tr tr truck damage course. We'll s s s s see how we do on this, this one. Uh, challenges of off-road driving. Uh... Wheels and brakes are damaged separately. We'll be able to repair if your powertrain is damaged. The engine may turn off. So I can turn the engine off. Okay, I want to see real quick. There doesn't appear to be many settings. Or any, like, options to adjust things. So 
I think we are... Oh! I always hit reverse every single time. Okay, so... Uh, I feel like we might want to switch cameras here. Oh my gosh. That's, that's insanely steep. Okay, well, we're not doing too good at passing gates, and honestly, the audio is su super overwhelming in the outside view. So I don't think we're going to do, do that. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have some tires we can hit. So a lot of interesting terrain that the game's got you kind of going through. Okay. Do we have to, like, try to straddle this? Uh, I feel like we're going to tip over. I don't want to tip over. And it looks like we missed one of the gates, too. Okay, we got five of six g g gates. And we're st still getting an L, L so... Um, okay, so you get experience points. And we're not even... <laughs> I just n no noticed this. We got enough for s s silver, but it still shows us an L, so that that's that. Okay, looks like we can buy a truck now, and our first achievement... Hey, we got a driver's license, that's cool. We have a million credits, so I'm assuming we can buy some pretty crazy vehicles? Or I guess kind of whatever we want here off the start. Um... Do we want something really big? I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with this, like, beginning vehicle. Just to kind of see how we do. Um, there's a way to upgrade it. Okay. So let's let's just spend all of our money upgrading everything about this car. And it looks like we're getting achievements for doing this. Okay. Yeah bunch of different achievements so that's kind of cool move or drive to the front axle we can't do anything here um so let's go uh let's go try and do a drive kind of cool that we got a bunch of achievements but the game did g give us honestly probably way too much money to start with so what do you guys th th think like it's meant to be kind of like an obstacle simulation kind of car game. So, curious what you guys kind of think. Okay, it's Disenchanted for Forest. Okay, we don't need this. So, why am I always going in the wrong direction? Oh! That was a pretty big fall right away um I assume that I just need to find my way around um why can't I drive there we go okay we passed one gate but we'll just kind of see where we get from the rest here. Looks like we're going to be kind of floating between third and fourth gear for the mo mo most part of this challenge, so... And I'm just going to kind of drive in whatever direction seems to make sense for the time. Okay, I don't want to fall off any of this stuff, so uh, it's going to be a little ch challenging to kind of navigate everything. Um, I think I want all my wheels for steering at least. Okay, are we getting close to another gate? I feel like we ought to be getting somewhere close to the next gate. Okay, there's no way that I'm not going to just absolutely murder my powertrain this time. But we're going to just keep going this direction and ho ho hope that we're going the r r r right direction. 
The tutorial honestly did a pretty good job at like explaining the game. It's just you know get, getting kind of used to the game, and I f feel like I'm I might not I might be trying to push this little truck more than what it can handle. Okay, don't fall off of that. That would be completely de de devastating. Okay, keep on going. We still haven't found the s second gate, so maybe I missed it. It's a good good pop pos possibility, but we're just gonna keep driving this direction and see what happens. Okay, especially since the course isn't really telling me exactly what directions I need to be going. I think we need to be lower gear to climb. Yep. Alright, we gotta get up this hill. Okay, we, we got up this little hill, which is good. Ah! Inverted controls. Looking the wrong way. Not what we want to be doing. Okay, we gotta lower the gears just to kind of get it up this hill. Ah! I'm not used to playing inverted controls, so bear with me. Okay, we are definitely, though, pushing this engine to everything it's ever not been designed to handle. That's probably on me. It's, it's de definitely on me. 100% on me. Alright, come on little truck. Is it not strong enough to get up this? Oh, uh, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. No, I gotta stop gear in the wrong direction. I'd actually be really curious to see, like, how this game plays with somebody who has, like, the racing wheels and everything. So... And I'm still only assuming I'm driving in the right direction, as the game has not told me anywhere about where I'm going. Oh, and we just ran into something that I don't really think I wanted to run into. Um, and I think... I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or, or that way. Yeah, the lack of knowledge of my direction is not helping anything I'm doing right now. Oh, wait, did we just flip over? We, we flipped over. Okay, there's got to be a way for us to go up here. Because I, I see the boxes, but you know what? Maybe that's not where we're supposed to go. So I'm just going to guess that we're not meant to go this that direction. Oh, and we can't go this direction. So, yeah. You know what, guys? I, I think I'm a little lost here. But I at least wanted to sh show you guys a, a little bit of Heavy Duty Challenge. Um, I, I wonder what happens if I go and buy some of these other cars. Is it going to give me more achievements? Like, may maybe the car I have just isn't strong enough to do what I, I need to do. So that would probably be my best guess. So I think I need to spend some more, 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 more time trying to f figure out what vehicles are going to work best and maybe just trying to understand why certain uh, cars in the game have, you know, well, why am I getting a million dollars plus right up front? But yeah, th thanks for joining me as I check out and play a little bit of he Heavy Duty Challenge. Um, and if you didn't enjoy the v v video, Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Until then, I'll catch you next time.